So Olga, the neighbor the neighborhood we're going to mm -hmm. does not look like that, right? Yeah. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> it will look definitely the worst different. the worst neighborhood in Minsk, right? Okay, so because it can't all look this good. It's it's impossible. All I've seen are, are nice streets, cleanliness, order. Do you know these are built because of Stalin? These doors? They're nuclear doors. <laughs> this, is this is a nuclear door. No joke. Yeah, that's why Stal Stalin Stalin <laughs> built this in all of the metros. And so you can see the slides up there. And it would come across. There's another one over there. I didn't because know. if there was a nuclear winter outside, the whole population could come down here. Oh. So midday, it's quiet like this. Yeah, Nobody's oh, here. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I told you it's not so crowded usually. <laughs> Cool station, huh? Nice bus. Try it. Is the old you know tickets? Sure, sure I can figure it out? You oh, you just put it in there? Yeah. Chocolate factory, yeah. Right? You sure this is the right neighborhood? Uh, this is just in general, this region is uh -huh. a little bit like low quality. I don't know how to, how to say this in English to explain, right? Yeah, it's not. It doesn't look that bad yet. It's more dangerous because we're here. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> this cool guy. So we're getting closer to the neighborhood, yeah? Look on the left. What? <laughs> see, I, I just don't see what's so bad about this yet. Look at this, this uh, concrete. So this, perf like this asphalt is perfect. Yeah. There's no trash. Mm -hmm. What's bad about this? Look at this road. It looks like Did Poland. Did you see this guy from from beginning? No. You see a lot of Gopnik oh, here. Oh, he's got <laughs> Adidas <laughs> tracksuit. You miss all Gopnik in it. <laughs> the bad neighborhood starts now. Yeah. This is the yeah. bad neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. It's uh, a kind of little bit dangerous. Little not bit too, dangerous. Not too much. Not like uh, even even not uh, like some regions of Russia or Ukraine. Here, right. more, here more safe. This is the place you go looking for uh, dates. <laughs> yeah. Your, your dream man. Yeah, it's our dream man in Belarus. So girls from other countries, welcome. You think that after this video, they're all gonna come over? To Belarus, looking for their men in this neighborhood. <laughs> it was a joke, actually. Guys, if you haven't noticed yet, it's it's just been pissing rain today. Just Doing our best to find you the bad neighborhood in Minsk, and I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced you're finding me anything, Olga. I think we should go uh, there. And from Olga, I think I need to take you to the south side of Chicago. <laughs> Seriously, okay. <laughs> or uh, South Central Los Angeles. Uh, is it so dangerous? Compared to this, yes, definitely. Compared so, to most places, actually. Uh, so what is dangerous there, tell me? 
guns, homicides, scary people, drunk people, mm -hmm. cracked out people. Uh -huh. So well, if you expect it to see here like that, yeah. Um, unfortunately, you're disappointing me. Yeah. I wanted to see, I wanted to see some grit in Belarus because all I've seen, I just thought it was unfair showing the downtown with polished streets and nice wide boulevards. So let's see the other side of Minsk. And you got me walking in the rain on this perfect yeah. pavement. In this bar? This bar? Yeah. Let's check it out. It's a bar, huh? I mean, Minsk style dive bar. Look at this. <laughs> it's perfect. Did you have a Hoi Rayon? She answered you in Belarusian, by the way. She said to you, Kalilaska, it means please in Belarusian language. Sweet. So they speak Belarusian out here uh, in the outskirts of the some city. Some people sometimes speak, yeah. But exactly this woman told you clear Belarusian Kalilaska. Maybe we meet there some guys who can be dangerous for us. Let's check. You like dangerous guys. You like wild guys. Olga. Why not? You're looking for trouble. For adventure. Adventure. Uh-huh. But look at it as far as a market goes. Look at that. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable how nice it is. You ready? Yeah. This is the way in, yeah. you're saying? Way to paradise. The route to paradise. Uh-huh. So you're saying this is this is the way into the bad neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you been here? Yeah. My friend lives here. But uh, your when friend's you... not gonna like you after this video. <laughs> well, uh, in this place you can generally see only people uh, who are bad looking, not well dressed, uh -huh. uh, drunk people. But you can't see here people with guns, with knives. Because uh, our country is very peaceful. Come on, oh. you're being, you're being, are you being too politically correct? There's got to be some, mm -hmm. it's that peaceful? Yeah. Really? So, okay, no guns, people don't have guns, that's obvious. Yeah, it's that's forbidden like, here, even you can't buy it here, of course. You can't buy guns, but knives, mm -hmm. people have knives, they're stabbings here, they're killings, right? Uh, okay, we have knives, uh, it's a kitchen. <laughs> You can take it. Kitchen knives? <laughs> Look at this. Kitchen knives, yeah. Oh, let's go inside here. Let's okay. check this out. But even in the terrible neighborhood, so you say, there's no trash. By the way, I think this is the uh, imprint all to my friend. Really? That's yeah. weird. <laughs> this camera sucks in low light. <laughs> it sucks in low light. But let's just get out of that rain. Look, even this is nice. Yeah, but you know, it depends. It really depends. Look, uh, this one is nice. Some, uh, some of them not good. Uh, it's just feel like we came in a nice house. The right one. Yeah, most of these hallways are pretty dirty and ugly. Usually. Um, like in Ukraine, definitely, yes. In Ukraine, uh, in Ukraine it's more dirty. 
You're not making many Ukrainian friends today. No. <laughs> I love Ukraine. You know I live there, right? Yeah, I know. I know. Your, your country for your soul. It is. There's a lot of soul in Ukraine. Okay, mission failed. We're gonna find the hard edge of Minsk. Because you know Minsk is an extreme place. You know this. Extreme? Extreme. Everything's extreme. It's like the Kentucky Fried Chicken here has this massive Soviet realism display above it mm -hmm. that makes you feel like charging off to war but then you just want to get some ice cream or chicken. Okay, look at this. This this playground in the... What is the name of this neighborhood, by the way? Kurosovshina. Yes, it is? Kurosovshina. 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 Oh, there's some trash. First... Yeah. First wrapper. <laughs> Finally, you found some trash. This is gonna seem like a propaganda video. I swear to God. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm doing my best to find a shitty part of town. Yeah. Anyway, we still have small chance to find something near the market. Let's try. Okay. Yeah, I mean, but every city, this is a city of uh, two million people. Oh, sweet. Let's get out of this rain. Uh, it's a city of two million people. Yeah. The average salary is what? Uh, our president says that it's five hundred dollars, but all the people know that it's not. It's less. So the average salary is not even five hundred dollars. Yeah, less for them. Something doesn't add up to me. So people are living pretty low. A lot of people living with not much money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because people here, they know how to save money. Uh, they know how to um, count how much money for what they need. Um, who doesn't know? They just drink alcohol and they don't think about anything. That's all. They just live their paradise life <laughs> in their minds. That's all. Okay. So, do we have another place to go to, or is this it? Uh, let's go inside the shop and look. Look for what? How it is inside. It's a nice looking shop. Doesn't look bad. Really? Yeah. Let's You're joking inside. me. No. Seriously. No, really. You're joking me. <laughs> I think you are. No. This is the Pominsk, it's bad region. I'm seriously. I like the uniforms, the little hats they're wearing. What yeah. is that? What's going it's on there? Special uniform for all shops. All, all shops? Uh, yeah. So this shop, yeah, the last place had red hats. This one has blue hats. This is what the market looks like in the can't even say it, but let's call it the bad side of Minsk. <laughs> I'm your worst tourist. Usually they want to go to nice places. I want to go to bad places. Okay, that's the Minsk market. Nice place. Okay, let's try one more place, yeah? One more stop okay. along this journey. Can, through the rain. We can go through the rain uh, somewhere. More, Is it? Somewhere more deep where I have never been before. Deep into the jungle. Yeah. Okay, here's... Oh, oh, oh. So what do you love about, what do you love about Belarus? Tell me something you love. You, you travel a lot, so what do you love about it? First of all, I like that here is uh, peaceful and calm. And uh, I like that here is 
very clean as you see I think um, I love Belarus and nature very much uh -huh. and uh, I like that here it's not so crowded like in many countries yeah. where I usually visit it's pretty spacious yeah yeah you can come here and you can feel uh, comfortable you can feel relaxed here yeah, I feel oh like um, only I don't like I think this, this way. I don't like this awful rain all the time. Oh. Rain and cold. <laughs> so I feel with all these wide parks and big parks and wide boulevards, there's just a lot. Of, I don't know. My head feels a little more peaceful. If that makes any sense, like I have a little more space in my thoughts. Mm -hmm. everything's spread out. But, but not in like mm -hmm. a suburb. Not like in a Phoenix suburban Phoenix. Arizona, you know this place, Phoenix? No. Or Los Angeles? These are big, sprawled out suburban cities. But this is actually enjoyable to walk around. Mm -hmm. Maybe not this neighborhood so much. Mm -hmm. But with all the parks and all the cool streets and all the monuments, mm -hmm. it's, it's nice to walk around. Even though you'd want a car here. But tell me, uh, you. You are here already for several days. Yeah. And what uh, did you notice here, uh, first of all, when you arrived in Nice? Just the, the massive Soviet architecture, the monuments. Mm -hmm. I love that stuff that I find it super interesting. The constructivism, the brutalism, mm -hmm. all the, you know, the Lenin statues, the hammer and sickle. Mm -hmm. It's super interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, what sucks about Minsk? What do you not like about Minsk? Um, nature. Uh, sort, of, sort of nature. Weather. Our weather. Oh, yeah. It's, I can uh, say it sucks. I think it's the first uh, thing which uh, really kills me every time. And you know, in such weather you always feel depressed, you feel no power, you need more sunshine, uh, you need terrible. more energy. Yes, yes. And uh, generally, here people depressed. People are generally depressed here? Yeah, yeah. Mostly because of weather and because of the level of life. Okay, this way and then over. Okay, so maybe we go too far. <laughs> okay, the, the crazy thing okay. is, mm -hmm. you say the level of life yeah. isn't high. Okay, but if you go to say Italy, this is a, a Western so-called wealthy country mm -hmm. and you go to Rome Rome is way more beat up than this place mm -hmm. you know what I mean oh that's cool look at this I this is what I love about Minsk these long walkways but Rome is way more beat up it's dirtier mm -hmm. the infrastructure is more beat up they mm -hmm. make more money but actually it's so expensive that I, I don't I, it might even mm -hmm. be better here I don't know because of this rain, we didn't meet all these guys who usually sitting near this shop. These Gopnik guys with uh, bottles. Gopnik being rednecks. Yes, with the bottles of vodka, uh, with uh, red, blue faces. Is that is that gang turf, or is it kid stuff? Um, I think it's kid stuff actually. I suppose, yeah. It's okay. Like this. There we go. Mm -hmm. Some signs of danger, perhaps. Yeah, this is what the most dangerous neighborhood <laughs> does for art. And it hasn't been spray painted or knocked down. We dissected a lot. There's a building. Mm -hmm. Is that a dangerous building? Uh huh. You think so? Actually, building looking nice, but you never know who lives inside. Especially in this region, uh, such people live in more, concentrated more than in other uh, regions. Some people okay. go in prison, some people already back. In this region, such people most of all than in all Minsk. More criminals here than anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, in yeah. All and you know, around like 10 years ago, uh, in this region you could meet really uh, people with, uh, with guns. 
and really? it, was, it was dangerous sometimes to go out in the evening. Now, Ten years ago there were guns here. Yeah, like that. Now it's much more safe here. I knew it wasn't dangerous, but uh, there's, there's always a real bad part to any big city. Usually there is. And I'm not seeing it. So, guys, maybe a little bit of a letdown, maybe not, but the story is Minsk is not a dangerous city and we got totally wet and walked quite a ways to try to find a different truth for you, but this is what it is. Anything else to say, Olga? So I just want to say welcome to Minsk. Uh, you can even, even stay in Kurasovshina. Tell them, tell them. Tell you them. can even stay in Kurasovshina and uh, you will feel good. By the way, here, uh, rent an apartment will be much cheaper. <laughs> so, oh, by the way, let's just look at the nice um, stonework and curbs in the worst neighborhoods in Minsk. Unbelievable. I think there might be more to this story, but maybe not. Maybe that's it. Okay. Kruto. Kruto oput. Kruto oput. Хорошая experience. Very cool experience. So guys, also, I got a like a edited video of Minsk with music shows all the beautiful sides sights and it's actually not raining the whole time so it looks beautiful with blue skies somewhere at the end of this video